What's up, freaks in the VIP? Today we're talking about plateaus. It's Monday morning, so it's a perfect time to talk about plateaus because plateaus always seem to be born on a Monday. I always find it interesting that most plateaus are discovered on a Monday. Now, how is that? Why is that? Let's see. Maybe things on the weekend don't go according to the goals, according to the plans, according to the mission, according to your dreams, according to where you want to be, your ultimate dream body goals, or the ultimate life you want to live. And on the weekends, perhaps things aren't done exactly according to plan. So it's on Monday that you all of a sudden have hit a plateau. And I'm here to tell you that is not the case. That is just bullshit. There's really no such thing as a plateau in anywhere. In your strength gains, in your weight loss, in the way you look, there is no such thing as a plateau. The only plateau that is even possible a little bit is the plateau in between your ears, up in your head, your mindset. You plateau your mindset. Most plateaus that you see happen are, are born on Monday and they, they are generated off of the the excuses from the weekend. It's to make excuses for the weekend because if you if you drank a bunch of alcoholic beverages, you ate a bunch of shit you know you shouldn't be eating, a bunch of fried foods, ate late at night, didn't get as much sleep as you're supposed to, didn't hydrate as much, and then drank some more alcohol, and then some more alcohol, and then all of a sudden you hit a plateau and not getting the weight loss you want or not getting the energy, not getting the, the stamina, not getting the, the lean muscle that you want, it's a case of being consistent, especially through the weekends. It's a case of staying focused all the time, over a long period of time. Not just five days a week. Those two days will fucking kill you. Two out of seven, that percentage, I don't even know what that is. That's a high percentage. That's over 20%. I know that. That's a lar large percentage of the week if you're just throwing away your weekend and then, on, and then Friday or Monday comes and you're screaming out plateau. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't exist. If you... Especially if you're looking to lose weight and you know you did that stuff on the weekend, right? Or even if you're looking to build some lean muscle. The plateau didn't start on a Monday. The failures, the slip-ups, the lapse in discipline and consistency probably led to that so-called plateau on the Monday. So if you're looking for higher level results, higher level fitness, a more toned, lean, fit body, all you need to do is quit that bullshit that you're doing, that you're acting like doesn't happen, and go freaking harder. It's hard work, it's called hard work. Don't get complacent, we know complacency kills. Stop getting complacent with it. Go into the boot camp class, especially on a Monday, challenge yourself with some weights. Listen, because just because, say there's a, just make an example, say there's a minute long set for a chest press. And you're, you, you're usually grabbing your 15s, 20s, 25 pounds, whatever it is, because you know you can last a minute with that. Go grab a 30, grab a 35. Worst case is you don't last a minute, but you're going to get that strong, a little bit stronger what you're looking for. Or that little lean muscle that you're looking to build. And you're still going to continue to burn fat because we, we all can always still have plenty of fat to burn. But we want to we wanna get to that next level. We want to look lean and fit and toned and lean have lean muscle. It's about pushing yourself harder. It's about tightening up that nutrition even more. It doesn't mean because you want to get want to get build some lean muscle, you maybe lost some weight. It's not about now I could be a little easier on my nutrition. That's not the way it works. You have to get even more tight on your nutrition, more strict in nutrition, more dialed in. Because as you want to build muscle, right? You go through phases. It's impossible to do everything ide optimally all at once. So if you wanted to only build muscle and that was your only concern, guess what you're gonna also do? Your it, fat is gonna go up at the same time. So the more you think about you wanna build muscle, the more you need to dial in your diet and your nutrition. That doesn't mean now that, oh, now that I'm gonna go into a maintenance phase, whatever, first of all, maintenance is death. We don't wanna be doing that. But we wanna go to this next level of building some lean muscle or whatever. You need to dial your nutrition even more. You can't say, okay, now that I wanna build some lean muscle, I wanna build muscle. Well, first of all, your goal at all times should be to build muscle, to build lean muscle, right? And with your strength sessions, your boot camp sessions, that's 100% possible. That's what you need to do. The only thing I would say to do is get maybe add in some kind of pull-ups or something. Add in some pull-ups before a session, after a session, on the break of a session. is because pull-ups usually is something that we don't do much in a boot camp class because it doesn't work in a boot camp setting. Other than that, 
You have to increase your weights. Push yourself a little harder. Go to where you're struggling on a set. You should not even finish a set without a struggle, without a failure of a, of a strength set, of a dumbbell set, a weighted set. It should be a struggle. It should be like to failure. You should have to stop before the time's even up. And not worried about that you didn't last the entire time. If you're pushing to failure, pushing to maximum, to your muscles can't push anymore, that's the way you need to do it. Every single set. Every set. So after, a, let's say, a strength day. Let me, I know after I'm done doing, I do strength circuits exactly how we do them in the boot camp classes. Whether I'm taking a session or doing it on my own, it's like identical to the boot camp session. That's how I do my strength sessions. And I build a fairly decent amount of lean muscle out of it and stay in shape and stay lean and keep body fat down. But guess what? I'm pushing every fucking set to the maximum, like where the muscles are gonna burst. Now we're talking about not in the initial stages. Don't think that if you're in the initial stages of, of weight loss, we're talking about once you've been here for a little while, you're getting the flow going, you've lost some weight, and now you're, you wanna you know, tone up a little more, build a little lean muscle. Again, first of all, you should be wanting to build lean muscle all the freaking time. But you need to be pushing it. Like when I'm done with a strength session, it'll be 60 minutes. There's no way in hell I could go do a boxing class. No way in hell that I could do. I could barely lift my arms because I push them to the maximum every not not for the not for just the workout. Every single rep of every set is work, is a struggle. It's like when a set is over, it's almost not thinking I can make it through the next round. That's how it should be. That's the way you need to push that and pick the weights that are gonna that are gonna make that happen for you. Where you're struggling, you're a strength session. You should be dripping sweat during a strength session. And if you could lift your arms after to go throw full speed punches, you did not go hard enough during that strength session. Because I know myself, and I'm in fairly decent shape, there's no way in hell I could get a fully effective boxing workout after doing a strength session. Maybe like once in a while when, when, when I'm just totally carved up and fueled up where I know that I just had way too many carbs the day before and... The, the blood and, and the, the glycogen in your blood is just overflowing from those carbs. You just have so much extra fuel in there from overdoing on the carbs. I like got massive carb load is the only way I could ever do it. And that's still only once in a while. Because during the strength sessions, during the, even the, the cardio, you need to bust your ass like all out. And that's, that's what's causing the plateau is just complacency. Complacency is the plateau mentally is the plateau. Lack of discipline is the plateau. Lack of consistency is the plateau. And sometimes lack of realistic expectations is the plateau. The weekend is the fucking plateau sometimes. So push yourself a little harder. And guess what? If, if there's an exercise that you want an even harder, more intense version of, don't think that modifications, the word modification doesn't only mean easier. There's a starting point, right? A modification can mean easier. It can also mean harder. It can mean different. It can mean a different speed, different weight, different flow, different angle. There's always a way to make every single exercise harder. And oftentimes the variables to change are that the, the weight that you're using. You also could obviously switch the time under tension. 